All right, guys, I'm not gonna front. I folded. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Jacob Kirk, back here with another YouTube video. So today, gonna be another banger. We're gonna be doing another Road to Aesthetics. Uh, today's gonna be just a teensy bit a little different. We're gonna be switching it up the meals a little bit and also the time we hit the gym. So we gotta start off with the supplements. So I already showed y'all last video what we, what we take, but we take multivitamins. And next video, the next video I'm gonna be having, I ordered some more stuff so y'all see, y'all also know that when I take my supplements, so does my man Samson. Today on the menu, it's gonna be a little bit about the same, but different, different rotation because we're hitting the gym earlier in the morning. So I don't want to fill my belly up and then hit the gym, or I don't want to be, you know, full and hit the gym because if you ever had those. It sucks working out, and plus, you don't look cracked. So, I'm gonna be having my cup of yogurt with chai seeds, protein shake, a little bit of some pineapple. Probably have like five, six of these. I'll catch y'all at the gym after I eat this. All right, guys, so before we get started, I forgot to show you this last time. We're gonna be taking pre with caffeine. If y'all want to get you some, just click the link down in the description. Real quick, this gym is jumping right now. It's a gym I go to every day, and it's never jumping like this, so it's going to be an interesting one for sure. I think everyone's just trying to get their pump in before they go party. Oh, y'all see the finger? Look at that. What happened to my finger was I smashed it between a 45-pound plate. Ain't no way. I swear. <laughs> Your first gym injury? <laughs> Is that what happened? So this guy came up to me and he was like, hey, bro, you looking kind of swole today. And I was like, appreciate it, my guy. And he was like, do you mind if I finesse that 45 that you're not using? And I was like, I do mind. Then we started scruffing. And I went to go take his 45-pound plate off of his rack because I was going to show him, you know, I'm stronger and I'm better. So while I was taking off the 45-pound plate, boom, smashed it. And that's the result of the smash. But, hey, at the end of the day, I did show him what was up. So I guess it was a dub. But it hurt. It hurt. Like, it started bleeding instantly. Like, two seconds after, bleeding. Inside or outside? Inside. So a uh, quick little lesson real quick if y'all see this it's blue that's because your blood is actually blue when you look at your veins they're blue it's just when the blood collides with um the chemicals in the air it turns to red instantly enough of that let's go get this workout baby all right guys so today is going to be a back and by day something that i noticed that is that i need to grow my width and my lats. So this workout is gonna be based around me and growing my width and my lats. So all these workouts are gonna be lat width based. So y'all see, but starting off, we're gonna be doing a warm up pre exhaust movement. No better time to start with pull ups. First exercise after the pre exhaust movement, we're going to be doing bent over rows. 
but it's crucial that you do underhanded slash supinated grip for this one so it hits more of the lats than if you're being pronated. And also make sure when you're pulling that you feel the pinch in the back between the two shoulder blades. Just focus with your mind on the uh, pinch and the muscles moving so you know you're hitting it right. Alright, for this next exercise, we're going to be doing a single arm pullover. I'm going to explain it because it is kind of difficult. But if you think in your mind that it's the same thing as a pullover, but with both arms, then you'll get it. So essentially, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put your hand right here for support. Total width apart for the feet. You're going to want to keep your arm the same angle the entire way. So if it's like this, don't rotate with the elbow like this. You're gonna wanna keep it like this the whole entire time. So focus on not uh, using your traps and keeping it the same angle the entire way. So if you need to lower the weight to learn, I recommend that. Alright guys, so for the last thing, we're going to be doing abs. This is my favorite ab workout. Last time I showed y'all um, something I just learned for abs, so yeah. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to raise your feet to 90 degree angle. I also forgot to tell y'all that when you can't raise your feet anymore to 90 degrees, just start doing um, knee tucks.
I solemnly swear, from this moment forward, that I will never lose again! I will never, never be defeated! Alright guys, just got back from the gym. I'm going to be showing y'all what I have because I worked out a different time from last video. So let's get into it. Starting off, had the same thing, four eggs on eight ounces of lean ground turkey. It's 90% with the Cholula sauce. I have the Cholula sauce because the meat and eggs is dry. So we got to spice it up a little bit, you know? And then for our carbs, just two wine rolls, nothing crazy, that's it. And then for our for our veggies or whatever you want to call it, pepper. All right, so I'm gonna be showing y'all some tips and some tricks on how to get lean and also why I work out the way I do. And also I'm gonna be telling y'all what my split is. All right guys, so first I'm gonna be talking about my split in the, in the way I train and why I train. So, uh, my split is very simple. It is back and buys, chest and tries, and then legs and shoulders three times. And then the other three days, I probably throw in an arm day, a chest day, a back day, and then legs. And the arm day includes uh, shoulders as well. So that, I mix it around and play with it, so I don't have a specific set on a typical basis. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta do what is best for you, so that is what I do. Some people do bro split, you know, so yeah. And then, why the way I train like that is because I feel like that is best for me. There's an old saying, if it feels right, it, whatever feels the best, you probably should do that, so that's why I do that, and also, the reason why in this video we did th only three back workout sets or three compound movements in back is because you don't need um, a whole lot of back compound movements if you eat it twice a week. So we did between three to four sets on each movement. So if we did three sets times three, that is nine sets for a back in one week. And then I hit it again. So nine times two, that's 18 sets for a back. That's a little too excessive sometimes, so that's why we chill out a little bit on the compound movement. That's why some of the guys that you see do it only do like two main back movements. So if you overwork your muscle by doing more than like 20 sets per muscle group a week, there's just a higher risk that you injure it and it doesn't grow as good because it doesn't get enough rest. Just as much as you work out, you need to rest as well. Just remember that. So quick couple tips for y'all to get lean is... 700 how to get lean fast 700 calorie deficit 10k steps a day those are two quick and easy things to apply by if you want to get lean fast this is what i'm going to be having for dinner tonight um yeah it's pretty self it's pretty easy you know not a lot of cooking at all honestly so let's get into it so first you cop this at walmart it's this It's bacon wrapped stuffed chicken. And I'm gonna read y'all the macros. 750 calories, 75 grams of protein, and the total fat is pretty high, but it has bacon on it, so 50 grams. And then the total carbs is two. What kind of gets you is the um, sodium and cholesterol, but it is what it is. 250 milligrams of cholesterol and sodium is 
1980 milligrams so it's pretty high but you eat your cardio you're chilling and then we have dessert this bad boy halo top baby it's ice cream but it's like protein ice cream like y'all know protein ice cream that y'all make if not I'll be dropping a video soon on how to make protein ice cream but this is the calories 19 grams of protein 200, 290 calories 90 milligrams of sodium 25 gram, milligrams of cholesterol total fat is 1.5 grams the carbs it has 21 grams so not too shabby Halo Top if you've never tried it get the vanilla bean that's what I'm having this is what the chicken looks like oh also one more thing if y'all ever see this brand at Walmart this is the red pop red white and blue pop fire get this this is carbonated water and the whole bottle 10 calories which is nothing and get this it fills you up so yeah i'm gonna eat this finish this up and i'm gonna give you all the review on the day <sighs> all right guys i'm not gonna front i folded so while i was waiting for the food to cook I had pizza from Pizza Hut. This is the pepperoni stuffed crust. I had three slices I folded, but it's okay, you know. If I folded, I'm not gonna lie to y'all saying that I did this strict diet. If you hit cardio at the end of the day, you have a little bit, you can be a little lenient, you know. The stuffed chicken never fails. It's um, bacon wrapped chicken with stuffed cheese inside. So I'm pretty sure it's cheese with cream cheese, but I'm not quite sure, but it is cheese stuffed inside. But yeah, it's sold at your local Walmart, so go check it out. 10 out of 10, I do recommend. So the overall day, I feel like was a success. You know, we got 1% better, and that is what you really need to focus on at the end of the day is getting 1% better. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. Um, the last video that I did went crazy. Thank you so much guys for the support. But that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite muscle group is to work. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to like. But with all of that being said, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.